right, so in my system that I use, I'll, uh, I'll throw into a crotch that I can easily hit, and I'll set up my line. So this would be my static line as I normally have it set up. And uh, I'm just doing this real close to the ground so my sister can help tape, um, and I can explain this. But uh, so let's imagine this is up over a high tie-in point, but uh, not my final tie-in point. This is uh, how I advance my line comes down and this will be my static line. So I, let's say I have uh, ascended up. I lanyard in. And now with me I've brought up my climbing system and I'm going to be climbing one. To advance my tie-in point I'm simply going to take this rope, throw it up just a little higher. So, all right, let's pretend that up there will be my final tie-in point. I've just hit it, and uh, now I want to tie it off to my static line so I can continue to tie, uh, climb single line. Uh, what I've been using is um, basically like a bowline, and I'll, uh, I'll show you up close how I tie this then, but for the purpose um, of this video, it's just showing how I advance my tie-in point. Now, if I didn't hit anywhere close to my final tie-in point, I would climb up traditional DRT system as I'm set up to go until I get it and then descend down to tie it off to this point. A little time consuming, but normally I can hit um, my static line within the range of uh, my final tie-in point. So, I'll unclip my throw weight. And I'm... Uh, going to be tying off onto the static side. To do that, like I said, it's almost like a bow line, where I'm going to take a loop, coming around. Now this right here is just like any other bow line, but within two strands. But I don't trust this for life support. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend anybody else to either. So I'm going to use a yes in my backup where I'm following this, this around. So I follow it around and it comes down through. And once again, I would probably trust this, but I want to back it up again. I, I prefer redundancy. So I, I back that up with a half hitch. I've never seen this, um, this start the back feet in, but uh, I still prefer it like this. So then, now I'm ready to go. I'm gonna switch over into my single line system because I got my knot already there. Clip in, clip in the Kong robot. Pull it up tight to the point where I can unlanyard. Now I'm going to sit into my system, all ready to go out and start working the tree single line. You can see after I had finally I hit my original um, spot with my static line, it really didn't take that long for me to set up to start working the tree. A lot quicker than having to feed the tail of your rope the whole way through up a higher point. And if I didn't hit high enough, I can work my way up, maybe inspect my final tie-in point, and uh, then come down and tie off. So, ready to go out a limb or start working the tree. Go. All right, I wanted to go and get a real close up of how I tie this knot. As this is life support and it's done up in the tree, I'd recommend tying this numerous times on the ground or just a couple feet up till you're real comfortable with it. Really keep an eye on it the first couple times you use it to make sure it's tied right. And because uh, this is life support, anything goes wrong there, uh, you're in trouble. So. Uh, glad we have two different colored ropes as it'll be easier to see. If I pull down just a little bit on my static line to where I take a, a loop. And now I, I do it as if uh, it was a regular bowline. I'm going to be pulling down, go around, and come back up. Alright, I 
I kind of set it, but not real firmly. Like I said before, I'm going to be following this part of the rope to make it a yesame tie off. So I come around, follow it through, and follow it back through my bite there. Now I set it. And that would be just be a regular uh, bowline with a yesame tie off, but I tied it with two ropes. So just to make sure, like I said, I like redundancy. I want to put a half hitch, maybe after a long enough tail, maybe two, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Uh, so that's that knot. And uh, when I sit into it, it tightens up. You can see how that reacts. And uh, I've climbed on this uh, in 140 foot trees, uh, 40 foot trees. I've never had a problem. Of, uh, I fully trust this knot. But I, I recommend you become very familiar with it before you start to trust it. Low and slow.